He's just working. He's being lazy and working. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my garden area like I, I like to call it I have some hang lights and some of them bust so we have to replace them but I was thinking about going ahead and doubling the lights so it can look really extra pretty um, I have to finish painting the door and then I think one thing that we're going to do is the step I think we want to power wash it and then use concrete paint to paint it white but these are my plants that I planted. Um, and then the sign I got from Hobby Lobby, it was originally like $89. And I got it for, thinking I got it for $44 and some change. And then I got some ferns on each side of my house hanging up with those little sturts, sturt, sturdy uh, hooks that you screw in. Um, I also planted a bunch of flowers in this little canteen thing. Um, a lot of, what is it called? Um, I forget what they're called, but I know I got some daisies in there and I got some fruit punch. Um, they're like petunias, so something like that. Like, wait, they're not wave petunias, but they're something like that. But I got a lot of those in there, planted up, and it's all bushy. As you can see, we're doing a pallet deck, and I'm not finished. And we did cut the grass today, so that's why the lawnmower is right there. My good old strawberry basket. And I, in the top of my strawberry basket, I planted some wave petunias, some white ones and some purple ones, and then some evergreen at the top. My god kids are over there. So over there, what I think we want to do is put like a little umbrella so when they get in the pool, it won't be super sunny on them. It's not sunny right now. Um, and then I planted something on that side. It's like a vine plant. I forget the name of it, but they're really pretty. Um, and then our gate, of course, is not it's a little ratchet as I call it but hey we're just you know we're renting so it's I did a lot we did a lot to this home in which we didn't pay a lot for because we did it ourselves so it was pretty easy for us to do it ourselves um, I was always taught to make your home your forever not not say forever place but make your home a place that you would love to live and love to come home to no matter what my mom and grandma always told me that so I always use that okay Cam, did he get your brother's ball? So yeah, um, over there I have some rose bush, a rose bush at the corner, um, some hostage plants, maybe like four or five of those, and then I have the hydrangeas in the back. I know I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. It's one right there. I think I got three, um, and then these two are the hibiscus trees. They're beautiful. So let me get up and show you everything else. So this, huh? It's okay. This table set I got from off of Facebook for free, and I just spray, it was white, and I just spray painted it. And this is how we gonna we gonna because yes, tables are pretty expensive. Um, I just got a basket and I planted some greenery at the top with some impatience and um not a sweet potato rind, a jenny creeper so these are the regular um impatience and then those are the tropical ones i want to say and impatience like shade but they can do well in sun too depending on where you have them um but they bloom like crazy and then over here it's look a little ratchet over here because i'm not finished but this is my sunflower bed and as you can see <sighs> they're like they're not dead but I got it from Lowe's for three dollars and I got these ones back here well that one I got that one for original price eight and then that's another one and then those little brown sticks over there those are daisies and then there's more over there uh, we have to be whack over here but I got some more for three dollars they're just summer plants so I'm going to plant them in because even though there's summer here in Virginia, the weather get, weather get a little crazy. So, the weather can get a little crazy. So, that means they can bloom for as long as they want, depending on the weather. Um, but I love them. I'm going to go ahead and put them down. And then I got some mulch over here. And I'm going to put some more mulch over here. Over here, I like to call this my old lady gang. Um, my old lady gang area. So, these rocking chairs 
I think y'all might have seen them in the front of my house. They were green. I spray painted them today black. And I love them black. And then I got this cute little um, basket. Well, pot from those with different stuff in it. And then this little tree. Not tree house, but bird house. I got to put food in it. I got it from Michael's for $6. And it was originally like $20 something dollars. It was on sale. So, I'm going to show you these. These were originally, hopefully can focus, $39.99. And the good part about them, they bloom some spring, summer, and fall. So these are amazing. And then I got another fern, Boston fern, sitting over here in this area. This is where the playground is going to be. And then the trampoline is over there. And so we have a pretty big backyard. This is the deck. We're not finished. And there's my husband with the playground. So once everything is set up. I will show you guys exactly how it looks. Guys, so remember I was telling y'all that we did some reports and I showed you guys. But we did get some aborts. We're not finished, as you can see. Um, we have to screw some down. Cut up. We got, a, we got what, one board? Which should be enough. Um, because we have to cut a piece right here and a piece right there. And this piece. And then, you see my umbrella? We gotta get a base, but I think what we're gonna do is drill a hole and then stick it in the ground because it'd be much better. Yeah, it's pretty hot, so he's sweating and I'm sweating. But I got my umbrella from at home store. I think it was like eighty dollars. They have so many different ones. I really originally I wanted the black and white one, but I got the gray and white one, which is fine. It's close enough to me. Um, that was like the only one they had left. Um, I am going to go get the cushions tomorrow because as you can see, they don't match and they're pretty old. So, and discolored, I should say. Very discolored. But, and then they did put the playground up. Um, I did get this off of Facebook. This was a Facebook find. And basically, it still has tons of life. I'm gonna power wash it and get all the grit off and I'm, then I'm gonna restain it. I did buy new swings and new, a new slide. So that's coming from Amazon. I wanna show you all the gook. As you can see, there's a whole lot of gook. So we're gonna go ahead and power wash this bad boy, restain it, and it will be like a fresh, brand new, you know, thing. Um, but yeah, so we're not completely finished, but we're getting there. We got to put the sunflowers in the ground. And then I think my husband is going to start on the fence this weekend. I'm going to paint the door, finish painting the door. And then I'm going to clean this porch off. <clears throat> because I'm going to paint it white. Um, to go with the front step. Um, and get a new rug mat and all that stuff. And then this is one of my beauty. I moved that one out of my house today because it's sunny out, so I'll probably just keep it outside for now on. But I got this elephant ear, I think it's called like a black, hopefully y'all can see it, a black beauty. Let's see, I got it from Lowe's. Oh yep, black beauty elephant ear. It's very cute, I love it, so I gotta repot it. Um, so that's just an update. And then come Friday, I'm gonna show you everything because we're, not really going to wear for 4th of july y'all can see the playground but at first i think i showed you guys how it looked and it didn't look so good as you can see the top part is still old and i'm staining it it's pretty hot so i have to take breaks um i used a brush because it was pretty easy and, and it's a small playground so so far i just got to get into some cracks that part and then the inside so once the inside bottom dry i'm going go ahead and climb up and go to that part and that part but it actually looks really good once i finish this i'm gonna go ahead and put the handles on and then add the slide and the little turp piece but it's coming together and i love this color this is the color that i used hopefully you guys can see i got it from lowe's and it was an as is and hope you guys can see that but i love the color i'm going to also do our deck the same color but as you can see i'm not really finished let's see on this side and I have to go up in the inside and get some of the cracks and creases. But the color is so pretty. I love it. We are in the process of redoing things. It's been taking us a little longer because we've also been doing things in house. Um, but 
today i put these back here they were in the front like i said i just brought these today and i was like it would be super cute because the stuff that i had right here completely died and i said it would be super cute if i can find some nice flowers to go around in the pot um we're gonna go get some march tomorrow after we uh pull up all the little dead weeds and that's the mistake i made um when i actually did my my little bedding area for outside because i should have put the little flower bed stuff down so weeds wouldn't grow you know but i didn't think like that and then these little lights they're super cute and they're really big they're like solar lights um they come on at night time only reason why i'm outside is because we have a really good wind today here in virginia it's been totally hot extremely hot i mean too hot to be outside but today it's been amazing and my backyard is horrible we'll be cleaning it cleaning it up we're gonna finish the deck tomorrow we're gonna start finishing that and i had to get a new umbrella i had like a striped one white and black one um but it didn't work out that way the wind kind of messed it up we're gonna go ahead and add the we're gonna go ahead and add the black lights that is over there on the porch and then right here we're gonna add a mount a TV on the house and then put like a what is it called? Like the thick plastic. A lot of stores have it now to kind of stop the corona and then add some trimming around it so it won't get wet. Um so yeah. But this is our outside area. My husband did get a grill for his birthday. My in-laws brought it, which is his mom. But this is the flower bed far away and it's not too bad we just like i said our grass is extremely high because it's been raining here storming extremely bad and we hadn't had a chance to cut our grass i hadn't had a chance to paint the concrete but i did do the door one day when it wasn't raining because if you go back and look at a lot of my videos the door was kind of like not done um but yeah we're gonna trim this stuff down and take care of all of this um the trash cans back here because we've been cleaning up trash because we got dogs and stuff we're gonna spray some lime down because once again we have pets and they tend to poop um update i don't really want to walk in this hard grass but i know my yard so i'm gonna go for it so before one eclipse um I didn't upload a video yet, but you will see it in the clip. This was super ugly, like an ugly red. And I'm painting it, or I painted it. I just have to do the top part right there, as you can see. Um, and then the tarp, the old tarp, it ripped off. I, I put the swings on there. We do have to finish putting the slide on there. Um, but that ripped off, so I brought a new one, and the new one is over there. We're going to put that on. So, yeah, and we are going to finish our deck this weekend. We did. We're doing a plow wood deck. Not the yeah, plow wood deck. With, um, what are these things called again? Pallets. Pallets. So, how it's going to work, I don't know if you want me to see it because the grass is super high. Is we got, what are these, four by fours or something, something like that? Oh, yeah. Two by fours? Four by fours. Four by fours. So they will flip up like that so you can't see the pallets. And it will be like a platform deck. So it doesn't look too good right now, but once it's finished, I will show you guys. But that's how that will go. Um, but we're gonna, we didn't screw some of it down. We just put the tape on it. We're gonna go ahead and put some down. So yeah, that's kind of an update. You guys can see out here, you know, the lighting is not always pretty good outside at nighttime but um this is how everything looks at nighttime i do have my outdoor rug which is like a buffalo check and the wash machine so i'm washing it because it did rain for a couple of days and then the one that goes on the up under by the front door i mean not front the back door i'm washing that one as well um we did decide to hang the lights up here i'm going to show you everything in the daytime once my husband cut the grass because as i said before it's pretty high um but i'm going to show you 
every single thing probably tomorrow morning but i just wanted you guys to see how it looks at nighttime with the lights and all that stuff so the plan is to get a this little spot right here we're going to put some hay in and get an outdoor fan which is going to face the deck because we do sit out a lot with the kids because i do have an in-home daycare and then like i said before right here we're going to do a tv on the wall well on the on the um this spot right here and we're going to go ahead and um put some framing around it and that big thick plastic so no rain won't get into it um but we did put cut the playground thing up and put it up i'm going to show you guys <sighs> um i just want to show you guys at nighttime how everything looks as well so we did put that up um this is how everything looks from afar the only thing i don't like about my backyard is like i said the city has to come out and lift the, the lights up and they're not a danger hazard but because i have in-home daycare i'd rather them be lifted a little bit more due to corona it's not a serious thing right now so they won't really come out like i want them to um but this is literally how everything looks these lights are super cute so what we did was we ran a central cord when we are sitting out here which is the ugliest thing but it will make a difference so we ran that right there um because those eventually those were supposed to go in the house but i didn't have the clips and then i had bought the sticky and peel things and james was confident those was going to stick so we just left those ones right there <laughs> and we're going to double these up with the same ones that's on there but start at that end and just double them this part we have to fix um but yeah those were supposed to go we just hung them there and they look super cute and when we're done out here i leave these on all night and i keep them plugged up i never take them out but these ones i will unplug because you know it won't be out here um so that's how they look at night um i did put a couple of plants right here uh, we're going to finish the deck tomorrow so I'm going to show you guys how everything will look put together with the grass cut and all that good stuff. It's so pretty out here. I love sitting out here. Usually we have that candle lit and some spray, but we ran out of spray because that's how much we sit outside. Um, because we have a lot of grass and it's been so wet, you know, mosquitoes are like terrible. And we have dogs, so of course fleas and ticks have gotten really bad here. So we spray the yard like crazy. So um, we're going to spray the yard, put some lime down. I probably video us doing a couple of that stuff. Excuse me if you see a little bug <laughs> flying around. But you know, this is how everything looks outside. I just want to show you guys how it look at night time. So this is how it looks. Um we are gonna get a light uh motion light that goes right there because when we're sitting outside, this is the light and it's like ten we go in and out sometimes. As you can see, you might see a little bit of bugs flying around bugs tend to fly around that my husband told me just get the light bulbs that they they cut on but it's like bugs don't fly around them or either they do but they die or something like that so we're going to do that and then i'm going to also look for a motion light that's kind of the same that way when we walk in the house it won't be so many bugs coming in the house as we enter the house so i will see you guys tomorrow and show you guys how everything looks so our little thing of being fail but this is the backyard overview remember i was telling you that uh, we need to get our grass cut so we did put the turf on the playground <laughs> now our pups are outside Go, Jack. my husband is telling him to go because i don't know but um the trampoline oh so, update. I have to sweep the rug. Say hi, Carly. These are her good. Um, I have to sweep the rug. But we did end up putting the indoor outdoor rug outside. Um, I'm just going to buy some cushion covers, maybe black, and go with the flow. Because um, the last umbrella I had was black and white, and it broke. So, that was the theme I was going with. The white would do fine. But I don't like the white because the birds poop on it and we have the power wash and all this stuff but we did hang these lights from it and we they just cut on at night time pretty cool really, really nice um so i did put my camellias back here 
um i'm gonna paint these black i don't know i might leave them I might just clean them up a little bit i do have to come in and dig up all the the grass in my flower bed because we are going to get some new mulch this week i did plant that saturday and i already got some new growth they're like elephant ears they grow like they multiply and they are elephant ears but they're the black beauty and then i got some look how can you focus look how gorgeous they are oh my gosh should be cute so i decided to put them in the bottom with the camellias and i had these for like two years and we have buds on them they just haven't bloomed yet so they bloom winter spring fall they don't die they can survive in the coldest weather um but i think i won't say they're pink but i've never got a bloom out of them because when i got them they were like little and then i just added the um super bales in there gave it a pop of color i kind of like it this color so i'm kind of unsure if i'm going to do black or if I'm going to just leave them burgundy. I might leave them and see how dirty they are and just clean them up. Our sign buck list is still here. If I can find everything that I have, I will link it down below in the description box. But yeah, I did put our rug over there. Um, I got that from Target. I didn't get a chance to paint the porch. Maybe this weekend coming up, I can do that. I will link this rug because I have to sleep as well. This table was given to me, so I can't really link it um and i just spray painted it black which i gotta spray paint again as you can see um so yeah so we never got a chance to put the let me show y'all we never got a chance so to put this up because we couldn't find the little wood cut thing so hopefully this weekend we can finish this, that, and that other side over there. But to block the dogs until we finish the gate, we did put this up. Because they will be outside um, most of the day doing my daycare hours. And I'll probably get a kennel. kennel. I don't know if I'm going to put it in between there or there. I'm thinking there because it, we, they will have shade, tons of shade. Don't mind my gosh, son. We're always out here in the backyard and we do clean up poop every freaking second they come out. So, <laughs> I see him. That's his daddy. He looks just like his daddy. And they kind of look like the mom. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi, Carly. Hi. No, don't you, mama plant. No, 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 no. He did. And then these are my Yorkies. What you got in your hair, Kiki? No, mama. No. <laughs> we try to sit outside as much as possible. Yes. No, no. No. No, thank you. Yes. Jane. Hey. <laughs> Listen, don't judge us. We're outside in our backyard. We let him roam outside with the pet. You can't even see us. We pull up on all the time out here. That's our thing. It's so hot outside. Yay! Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it or filming it, I should say. <laughs> well, if you like this type of content, please do not forget to stay tuned because part two will be up soon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel remember i upload every monday and every thursday i'll see you guys in the next one and be safe bye